A proposal before the Montgomery City Council could lift an existing moratorium on new event centers in city. The city stopped issuing business licenses to event centers about a year ago because private events were increasingly getting out of control. The proposed ordinance before the council would better define what conference centers and rental halls are and implement new safety measures. Our Monet Stevens looks at what future owners of event centers can expect. Owners of future event centers in Montgomery could have to follow some new rules. What we want to do is make sure that we have defined definitions for what a rental center is, what a convention center is, and what a conference center is. The proposed ordinance would define rental halls as venues of 1,500 square feet or less, used for social gatherings like private parties, weddings, receptions, and business gatherings. Conference centers will be defined as venues larger than 1,500 square feet, designed for conferences with a large hall as well as smaller lecture rooms and facilities. Those definitions are so important for those applying because they risk being denied if they choose the wrong type of venue. District 3 Councilwoman Marche Johnson says the proposed ordinance will also add some safety measures for rental halls. If you have up to 50 adults at your rental hall in an event, you need one security guard per 50 adults. And we'll add in two. We already have something defined for juveniles where if up to 20 juveniles, you have one security. They also cannot operate within 250 feet of churches, schools, daycares, parks, and community centers. As of now, Montgomery is still under a moratorium for the issuance of business licenses for event centers. But Johnson hopes that can change with the new ordinance. We know that rental halls are going to happen because you got to have birthday parties, baby showers, and things of that nature. And you need somewhere to do it. So we just want to make sure that it's safe. The proposed ordinance has passed the committee, and there will be a public hearing prior to the full council's vote. And if the ordinance fails to pass, it will go back to the Commerce and Industry Standing Committee. Val? All right, thanks a lot, Monet. Event halls that have been legally operating before October 2023 will be grandfathered into the ordinance if it passes.